Hey, what is up guys? So I hope everybody's doing well. I just finished up at the Goodwill outlet. I usually go to the outlet Monday through Friday. When you go Monday through Friday, it almost feels like you're going to work because you see most of the same employees and most of the same regulars there. And I usually stay for around an hour or two. And the reason being is because the other side of this business is listing, drafting, taking pictures. I know the fun part is being out in the field, hustling, picking up items, but you gotta leave yourself some time throughout the day to actually process all of that stuff. Alrighty guys, so I spent $15.77 today at the outlet, so definitely can keep the chains moving with that. And I did get quite a bit of stuff for not a whole lot of money. Picked up these Nike leggings right here. These are in great condition. Also picked up some Adidas Climacool soccer pants for women. As you can see, the retail store wanted seven bucks for these. Here are some Adidas track pants for men. Looks like they are a size medium. Picked up this Adidas Team USA volleyball shirt for women. It's a size medium. Here's a Nike dry fit tee. Nice logo right here, a women's size small. Here are a pair of Nike running shorts for women. Looks like these are probably, I believe, like a size medium. Yes, yeah, size medium. Found a pair of Nike Pro shorts right here in great condition. And these, I believe, are like a women's small. I also found these vintage Nike cargo pants for women. Got the black and gray tag right there, women's large. The swoosh on the pocket right there. Also found a pair of Adidas leggings, a women's extra small. These are in great shape as well. Got the logo right here on the back. Also found these Under Armour Base 2.0 leggings for women. These normally sell pretty good. I found these Lululemon pants right here after two or three people had already dug through it right here. And they are in great shape. These should definitely sell for some good money. They are a women's size 4 I believe. Found a pair of Nike Dry Fit Golf Pants. Golf Pants always sell pretty decent the logo on the back gray colorway also found just this standard Nike dry fit shirt for men got the nice logo here on the front here are a pair of Lucy pants right here with the orange tag right here looks like these are a women's size small short and picked up this Columbia interchange jacket it's a women's size small here is the fleece part right here to it and here is the jacket right here it also has a hood on it women small I also picked up these Nike Pro like hyper warm leggings for women they're women XL still in great shape nice logo no cracking and here is a Nike golf climate fit jacket for women's looks like the goodwill retail store one at 13 bucks for this so you guys know you can get it super cheap at the outlet if you can find it and last but not least what needs to be processed today is the seattle seahawks just a basic long sleeve shirt for men looks like it's a men's large and all these items right here need to be processed drafted photoed and listed today Okay guys, so I'm taking a photo of these Lululemon pants so I can get them listed. And this is the part of the business that I like to refer to as the trench work, the fun and cool part is being out in the field sourcing, finding cool things to sell. But this is the part of the day that normally eats up the most time for most resellers. And also when you source from places like the Google Outlet, you have to be willing to come home and spruce the items up because a lot of times there may be a little bit of dirt or maybe even a small stain on some of these items. And so you just have to be willing to do that once you get it. I wanted you guys to see this part of the business because I know the part that's highlighted is the sourcing part, but this is the other side of reselling.
Hey, what is up guys? So I'm at Value Village and it's pretty hot today. It's supposed to be close to 110. So we're talking like Texas hot. And this is the only Value Village that I know of in the Portland area. And I usually don't come over here often. I think the last time I was over here was like maybe three or four years ago, somewhere around 2017 or 2018. And the reason being is because I live about 30 miles away from here. So you have to be planning on purpose to come over here. And that just hasn't been the case here as of late. But let's go in here and check it out. checking out these Nike Elite 7s right here in like a blue colorway and these are in fairly good condition they're just dirty just need a decent cleaning and yeah, but they're pretty pricey at $16.49 and they're men size 12 I mean if these were somewhere between 5 and 10 I would definitely pick them up but man it's just gonna be really hard to make money at that price got these fans right here the lace up version in like a white black and red colorway and Again, these here are 15, so they're a little pricey. But they are in decent condition. Checking out these Nike SB Stefan Janowski skateboarding shoes right here. These are really nice too. They're just kind of dirty. And the problem is these are 18 bucks right here. I mean, just so, just so pricey. Got the Adidas turf shoes, no insoles, still at the grand total price of 26. Got these New Balance running shoes right here. Looks like they are pretty dirty. And again, pricey at 18. Got some Uggs here that I'm checking out. They're in okay condition, just need a little bit of a cleaning, but guess what I have for you? 45. Checking out this New Era Celtics hat right here. And I have been selling a couple of hats here lately. I usually don't sell a ton, but I think in the last week or so I've sold like two or three hats. This one right here is not in the best of condition. Checking out this North Face T right here. Looks like it is a men's size large, I believe. Yeah, men's large, but again, kind of pricey at nine bucks. Got this NFL team apparel. Looks like Philadelphia Eagles tank top right here at six bucks. And here's a man size large. Got this NFL team apparel Clay Matthews jersey shirt. Back when he played for the Packers back in the day. And it looks like it is pricey at nine bucks. Men's medium. $59.99. $59.99 for the jersey? Okay, cool, thanks. I see why I stopped coming here, man. It was rough in there. Thank the Lord for the Goodwill outlet. The next day. Alrighty, guys. Ross. Alrighty, guys. So in Ross right now, checking out these Adidas Nimitz Turf Soccer Shoes. They are at 25, comparable value at 56. It looks like these are man size 11 and a half. Checking out these Adidas Boost Prime Blues right here at 47. They do retail at 113, and these are men size eight and a half, I believe. But I just checked the comps. These don't sell for much money, which is probably why they got shipped off the Ross. Checking out these Nike Air Hirachi Lacrosse cleats right here, and these are 25 retail at 41, and these are actually selling for decent money. I think they're selling somewhere between 80 and 100. So these right here will be coming home with me. Checking out this Under Armour jacket right here. It is 50 bucks and it looks like it's a man size medium. And these do retail for 175 bucks, so pretty high. But I did look at the comps and these are only pulling in about 80 bucks right now. So for me to spend 50, I gotta bring in a little bit more than 80. So checking out this NFL Pro Line Sam Darnold jersey right here. And it is only 15 bucks here in Ross, but the problem is these aren't selling for anything on the market right now. And I think if his career was going a little bit better in New York, I think these right here would probably be a hot topic, but that's not the case. So we will be leaving this from behind. Got this Nike jacket right here. It looks like it does retail at 65. And up here at Ross, they were 34. And it's a bigger size than a men's size 3XL. Checking out this Fanatics, looks like Lamar Jackson jersey shirt. And it is 13 bucks here at Ross, and it's a man size 2XL. But these right here are probably only pulling in between like 20 and 25. But if this one was like 4.99 per se, I probably would definitely pick this up. Okay. 
Alrighty, y'all. So I just finished up inside of Ross. Picked up just those one item, those Nike lacrosse cleats right here. Picked them up for 25, and I'm hoping to pull in at least somewhere between 80 and 100 for them. And today I'm actually hanging out on another side of town. I'm hanging out in Beaverton today, so I'm normally over by the airport. So I'm about 30 miles away from my usual spots. But I figured I would change it up today, kind of do something different. And also, I think the Nike World Headquarters is like literally right up the street, maybe like two miles. When I come into places like Ross's with the Goodwill outlet in my back pocket and being able to get things for super cheap there, I try to be as picky as possible because you all know retail arbitrage is, is a little bit more pricier. And so you just want to make sure you're just utilizing your resources in the best way possible to make the maximum profit. Alrighty guys, Raw Store 2. Alrighty guys, so Raw Store 2 and Tiger. This is actually one of the nicer Rosses that I've been to. And these are 47, just like at the last one. Retail 113 and a men's 12. And again, these don't sell for much. Man, Adidas must have sent all of the prime blue boost here. Because man, there's probably at least 10 pair of these in here. Checking out these Converse Chuck Taylor Star Players right here at 28. It looks like these are a man size nine and a half, but these are only pulling in somewhere between 40 and 50 online. Checking out some of the shirts now. So it looks like we got these Tampa Bay Bucks Fanatics Tom Brady jersey shirts at 13. And it looks like this is a man size large. Got this Fanatics Oakland Raiders tee right here at 10. It looks like it's a man size medium. Got these Adidas Climber Cool soccer pants right here. Nice to sell these all the time from the bins, but at Ross they're 22 at comparable value at 37. Just too pricey here. If these are a men's size medium. Okay guys, so I just finished up inside of the second Ross. Not a whole lot of money to be made in there, but there is a Burlington's on the same trip. So I'm gonna pop in there and see if they have anything. Portland have those jobs for you. Alrighty guys, Burlington's. Checking out these Adidas right here at the low price of 45. It looks like these are a man size seven. Got some more Adidas in that patriotic colorway, red, white, and blue. And these are a man size nine and a half. And looks like they are going for 45, same as the other pair. Checking out these Adidas Sense Boost right here at the low price of 40. And these are a little bit on the bigger size, a men's size 14. But online it looks like somebody has this same shoe, same size, this for 50 bucks. So at 40, easy pass. Got some more Adidas down bottom at 37. It looks like these are a men's size 13, a black and white colorway. Man, Fila is stepping their game up with these big power boots right here. Lord. This Burlington also has a lot of the Nike Oregon Duck jerseys that I normally see at the usual Burlington's that I go to. Men's large. These do retail at 100, but these are pretty generic and don't sell for much money. Here is a Nike Seattle Seahawk tee right here and just a navy team colorway right here. And it has been reduced down to eight bucks. It looks like this is a men's size large. And I sell Seattle Seahawks stuff all the time because you can find it all the time at the Goodwill outlet. So I mean, you probably could pull in probably about 30 bucks for this right here. So I'll definitely probably scoop it up. Got this Nike baseball tee right here, a men's size 2XL. And it looks like they want 17 here. And these retail at 30. Alrighty guys, a couple items to keep the chains moving. Hey, what is up guys? So I'm at Value Village and it's like... Uh, 